Greetings again everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here we have another math challenge where only geniuses solve these equations in less than 2 minutes. You can prove me wrong in the comments. Now here we have a system of 3 equations and we are given to find the value of a plus b plus c. Now in order to solve this equation, we need to find the values of a, b and c. Now before we dive into this challenge, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel to stay connected and to solve more complex mathematical equations. Also, please feel free to check out my Math Olympiad playlist or my Complex Solution playlist to learn how to solve algebraic exponential equations or equations that uses logarithms. Now let's look at our equation. Here we can see that we have equation 1, we have equation 2 and equation 3. We can start to solve the values of a, b, and c by multiplying all three equations together. This means that if we multiply these equations, we therefore also multiply the results or the product. So that means that equation 1 times equation 2 times equation 3 also equals 10 times 20 times 30. This can be done because in systems of equations, the values of a, b, and c are consistent throughout all three equations. So in equation 1, the value of a is the same value as in equation 3, and the same is for b and c. So then what we're saying is that if we multiply a, b times b, c times c, a, the result is 10 times 20 times 30, which is 6,000. And since multiplication is commutative, we can simplify our equation by multiplying a with a, b with b, and c with c, and the product is the same as 6,000. So this means that we will now have a squared times b squared times c squared equals 6,000. And now since we are squaring all our variables, we can simplify this expression. So from here, we'll say a times b times c, and we put that in brackets, and we square that. And this is equal to 6,000. With that being said, it means therefore that we can apply the square root on both sides of this equation in order to get rid of the square. So therefore, we'll say that a times b times c equals the square root of 6,000. And now from here, we can break down the square root of 6,000. And we can do this in one of many ways. So we can take 6,000 and we can divide it by 2. And 6,000 divided by 2 is 3,000. So we we'll have 3,000. And this again, we can divide by 2. And this gives us 1,500. And we keep doing that. So we have 2 into 1,500. That gives us 750. And we can do this another time, dividing by 2. So 2 into 750 gives us 375. And then now we can now divide by 5. So we're not 5 into 375 gives us 75. And again, 5 into 75 gives us 15. So 5 into 75 gives us 15. So from here, we can divide by 5 again. And 5 into 15 gives us 3. And now in simplifying the square root of 6,000, we'll now have a times b times c is equal to, and we come here and we now multiply our 2's, so we say 2 times 2 gives us 4, 4 times 2 gives us 8, 8 times 2 gives us 16. So we'll have that, so we'll say that we'll have the square root of 16, and we know that 16 is going to multiply, we have 5 times 5, that gives us 25, and we'll stop there. So we'll have 16 times 25, and then we come again and then we say 5 times 3 and 5 times 3 gives us 15. Now doing this helps us to simplify the value for the square root of 6000. So let's look at what we have. So we have ABC and we have that equal to the square root of 16 times the square root of 25 times the square root of 15. And to be honest, this really makes it easier to simplify our equation. So we'll have ABC equals to, we know that the square root of 16 gives us 4. So we'll have 4 times the square root of 25 gives us 5. So we'll have 4 times 5. And then we rewrite the square root of 15 since 15 is not a squared number. So what this means is that ABC is equal to 4 times 5 gives us 20. So ABC equals 20 root 15. So this is the solution for a, b, c. Now in order to solve our equation a plus b plus c is equal to what? We need to find the values of a, b, and c. 
So we start to find the value of A as we see that BC is 20. So we'd have A times 20 equals 20 root 15. And then we solve A by dividing 20 on both sides of this equation. So here we see that 20s are cancelled out. And also on the right, the 20 also will be cancelled out. So the value of A will just be root 15. And then we move on further to find the value of B. So the value of B. So we can find the value of B by identifying the value of AC or CA in our equation. So if we look at equation 3, we see that CA equals 30. So since CA equals 30, it means that we can rewrite this equation as B times 30 equals 20 root 15. So in solving B, we can now divide both sides of this equation by 30. So on the left, we know that the 30s will be cancelled. And here we know that we can cancel just the zeros. So this means that B is equal to 2 root 15 over 3. So this is our solution for B. And now from here, in order to solve our equation A plus B plus C, we need to find the value of C. And to find the value of C, we do what we did similarly with A and B. So here in this equation, we know that AB gives us 10, that's equation 1. And since AB gives us 10, we therefore can express C as C times 10 equals 20 root 15. And then from here, we solve C by dividing 10 on both sides of this equation. So on the left, we know that the 10s will be cancelled out. And on the right, we can cancel our zeros. So C therefore equals 2 root 15. And with this, we can now solve our equation A plus B plus C. Since we have the values of A, we said that A equals root 15. We also have the value of B, which we said that B is equal to 2 root 15 over 3. And we said that the value for C is equal to 2 root 15. So now all we have to do is to add these values and the result is our solution. Now, as we approach to the end of this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel to stay connected and to see more math content similarly as these ones. So now we are about to find the value of our equation. So we said that we have root 15 plus the value of B, which is 2 root 15 over 3, plus the value of C, which is 2 root 15. So now all we have to do is to find the sum of these values. And we find the sum of these values by finding first the LCM. And now as we can see here is that our LCM is 3. So this means that here we'll multiply 3. Here we don't have to do anything there. And here we'll multiply by 3. What we have here is that we have 3 times root 15, 1 times 2 root 15, and 3 times 2 root 15. So from here we can write this as 3 root 15 plus Without 1 times anything is just the same, so we'll still have 2 root 15. And then we have 3 times 2 gives us 6, so that's 6 root 15. And now with this, we can finally see the solution for A plus B plus C. So A plus B plus C equals the sum of these values. So we start from left and we say 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 6 is 11. So we have 11. And we can just simply rewrite root 15. So we have 11 root 15 over 3. And so this is our value for A plus B plus C. And so 11 root 15 over 3 is the sum of our values. And now this takes us to the end of this video. I hope that this was very informative. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel to see more math videos like these ones. Also, don't forget to check out my Math Olympiad playlist or my Complex Solution playlist to see other complex mathematical equations that you can try to solve. Again, thanks for staying with me to the end of this video, and I hope to see you again soon. Until then, take care.